Today let's talk about the role of erythropoietin and regulation of the red blood cell production. If you haven't watched the previous video about erythropoiesis then first go and watch because it would be more helpful. The link is in the description. Now let's get started. The total mass of red blood cells in the circulatory system is regulated within narrow limits. So one is that and adequate red cells are always available to provide sufficient transport of oxygen from the lungs to the tissues and yet the cells do not become so numerous that they impede the blood flow now let's take a look on this control mechanism with the help of a diagram here the erythropoietin which is formed by the kidneys helps the hematopoietic stem cell to get converted into proerythroblast so we can say that the first step is regulated by the erythropoietin itself then further the red blood cells are formed from the proerythroblast as the concentration of red blood cells increases the tissue oxygenation increases and as a result the signal is sent to decrease the erythropoietin concentration and the cycle eventually stops but there are certain factors that decrease the tissue oxygenation such as low blood volume anemia low hemoglobin poor blood flow or pulmonary diseases these factors result in decreasing the tissue oxygenation and this causes the feedback mechanism which stops the signal to decrease erythropoietin as a result the cycle continues till there is enough oxygen for the tissues now let's discuss more about the tissue oxygenation and how the tissue oxygenation is the most essential regulator of red blood cell production when the quantity of oxygen transported to the tissues decreases the rate of red blood cell production increases thus when a person becomes extremely anemic as a result of hemorrhage or any other condition the bone marrow begins to produce large quantities of red blood cells also destruction of major portions of the bone marrow especially by the x-ray therapy causes hyperplasia of the remaining bone marrow in an attempt to supply the demand for red blood cells in the body at very high altitude where the quantity of oxygen in the air is greatly decreased insufficient oxygen is transported to the tissue and the red cell production is greatly increased in this case it is not only the concentration of red blood cells in the blood that controls the red cell production but also the amount of oxygen transported to the tissues in relation to the tissue demand for oxygen so we conclude here that various diseases of the circulation that decrease tissue blood flow and particularly those that cause failure of oxygen can increase the rate of red blood cell production however in case of different lung diseases and in prolonged cardiac failure the result is especially apparent because the tissue hypoxia resulting from these conditions increases red cell production with a resultant increase in hematocrit and usually total blood volume as well now let's take a look on how hypoxia results in increased formation of erythropoietin which stimulates red blood cell production so the principal stimulus for red blood cell production in low oxygen states is a circulating hormone called erythropoietin erythropoietin is a glycoprotein with a molecular weight of about 34000 in the absence of erythropoietin hypoxia has little or no effect to stimulate red blood cell production but when the erythropoietin system is functional hypoxia causes a marked increase in erythropoietin production and the erythropoietin in turn enhances red blood cell production until the hypoxia is relieved so this was all about erythropoietin and how it regulates the red blood cell production see you all in the next video till then stay safe and take care subscribe the channel like the video and comment your views thank you